Today for math, we're going to be working on in our Go Math book, and we're going to be working on lesson 2.9. You can find that on page 89. So I'm going to let you go ahead and grab your big, thick Go Math book and go ahead and be finding that page while I tell you what our I can statement is for the day. So today we are going to be learning how to use place value to help us add or subtract 10 and 100 to and from a number. All right? So we should be on page 89, and that's going to look like, yours will look like this, okay? So we are looking at this page. We're going to draw quick pictures to help show this number, okay? Now, the at Center School, there are 342 girls, and there are 352 boys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw some quick pictures of that number. So right here where it says girls, I want you to draw a quick picture of 342. Okay, 342. So just a quick one, 300, hmm. Two. All right, is that what you had? Three hundred flat, four ten rods, two one. And then the boys, there are three hundred fifty two boys. Three hundred fifty two boys. All right, so go ahead and draw a quick picture of that. Three hundred fifty two. Let's check your work. Did you have 300 flat? Oops. I thought I had more flat. Five ten rods and two ones cube. So you did. Great job. Now let's look at these two numbers. They both have 300 flat. They both have two ones. But we can notice that the boy's number has one extra 10 rod than a girl's, than the girls do. So the boys have 10 more people than the girls. All right, now, like I said, we're gonna be adding, we're gonna be showing 10 more and 10 less than a number. And today we're also gonna be learning how to show 100 more and 100 less, okay? And it's really easy. Let's look at this. Go ahead and flip over to page 90. So we should be looking at page 90. We can show 10 less or 10 more than a number by changing the digit that's in the tens place. Okay, so if we're looking at the number 264, what number is in the tens place? There's a six, right? So I have 200, six, ten, and four ones. Now, if my question says, show me ten less than 264, all I have to do is mark out a ten rod because I'm going ten less, which means I'm going to take it away. So I had 264, then I took one away, so now instead of six tens, I have five tens. So 10 less than 264 is 254. And like we said, the number in the hundreds didn't change, the number in the ten ones didn't change, just the number in the tens because this tells me 10 less than 264. I can do the same thing if it's asking me to go 10 more. I know that I'm looking here, this number's 10, so that tells me I'm working in the tens place. This tells me more, which means I need to add one. So if you look right here, we've added a 10 rod. 
So now we have 200. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten rods, and four ones cubed. Again, hundreds didn't change, ones didn't change. It's only the tens because that is what it's asking me for. Okay, so I really have to pay attention to what number is right there and what word is there. Okay, let's look at our next one. We can do the exact same thing with 100. You can show 100 less or 100 more than a number by changing the number in the ten, I mean the hundreds place, okay? So if my question says 100 less than 264, I know that I'm working with the hundred flat and less tells me I need to subtract. So 100 less, means I used to have two ten, 200, now I have one. But if my question says 100 more, that means I'm going to add a 100 flat, okay? So instead of having 200 flat, if I have 100 more, I'm going to have 364. All right, let's try some. All right, here we go. We're gonna try numbers one, and number two together. Now, I want you to look at this. This is how Miss Gates always makes her kids do it so that I know you're gonna pay attention to what you need, okay? Number one says 10 more than 100, or 648. I want you to circle that 10, because that means that you know what digit you're gonna be in. 10 more, and we're gonna underline more because that tells us we're going up. So, the number in the hundreds place does not change, right? Because it's 10 more. So we're working in the tens. So 600. Now, I'm in the tens. I see there was a four and it says 10 more. So I'm going to go up 10 more, 650, and then my eight stays the same, right? The only number that changed in this one was the number in the tens place because it was 10 more. Okay? Now, for number two, we see 100 less than 513, which means I know that if I see 100 less, that means I'm working right here in the, well, my board's a little off center. I'm working in the hundreds column, which will be that five. 100 less, which means I need to go down. So instead of 513, I'm gonna take away 100 flat. So it'll be 400. 13, okay? I want you to practice number three and number four and then come back and see if you were correct. So pause your video if you haven't already. All right, we have 100 more than 329, which means hundreds more. We would, the three goes to a 439. Sorry, not 39, 429. All right, this one, 10 less. So we're going down the number in the tens place though. Nothing else changes. So 800, if I had two tens, now I have one 10 and my number in the ones place stays the same, 817. Very good, all right. You are going to flip over to page 91 and you are going to be practicing the same skill we just worked on. Down here, it might be a little bit harder. You're gonna have those hot problems or those higher order thinking. And we're gonna have to figure out what goes in those blanks, all right? 